Hey, what's up? This is Fred Mascherino. Guitar Player Magazine, which I used to read cover to cover as a kid, has a series called My Life in Five Guitar Riffs. I thought I'd do my own little version of it. Before we get started, please click like and subscribe below. It really helps me out with the channel. And thanks so much for watching, guys. The first riff I wanted to talk about is off Van Halen's first album, their self-titled. And this one's called Ain't Talking About Love. And it sounds a little something like this. <laughs> I still remember the first time I heard that wonderful dark A minor riff. It made me feel so mean as a seventh grader and uh, it definitely influenced the sound that I was going to go for from there forward. The second riff that really influenced me as a kid was from the almighty band Rush from their Permanent Waves album. This one was the main intro on the song Natural Science. <laughs> Again, it was another minor key. This was sort of like an E minor thing that I just thought sounded really cool, had a cool sound to it. I learned this one after I could play a little guitar and uh, it reminded me of some other songs of the time like Message in a Bottle. <laughs> so when I hit high school, I kind of found all the punk rockers and the skaters and I learned about uh, the first band that I really fell in love with in that scene was Dag Nasty. And their first album, there's a song called Circles that my band used to cover. And the two things that I learned from that was uh, Brian Baker, their, their guitarist who plays with Bear Religion now, was a huge influence on me. Uh, he did this cool octave solo in it, which I'll play in a second. And the other thing was he did a thing where he had this open B just just ringing the whole time and uh, it, it kind of gave me ideas of like you know droning type of things uh, on top instead of just on the bottom and uh, it was a huge influence so here we go <laughs> So at some point toward the end of high school, heading into college, I started to learn a little bit about jazz music. One of the things that influenced me was the idea of playing many things at once on the guitar. For example, the song Autumn Leaves, um, you know, you have chords. And then you can play a bass line with that, which would go. trying to still play chords. But then uh, I figured out how to eventually incorporate a melody to go.
you get the idea. So that allowed me to take my writing uh, to a lot of different places, use my fingers, uh, a lot of intros for songs, and uh, just generally being able to picture those things on the neck together at once uh, was a huge asset to me that influenced my playing. So this is where my take on my life and riffs could head in another direction. My thought was to play you a few of my favorite riffs that actually I've written over the years. And since we were just doing the jazz, I was thinking about the Lullaby intro, which is a song on the Terrible Things record and also on Breaking Pangea's Take Apart the Words. Uh, it goes like this. Uh... <laughs> Another one of my favorite riffs that I've written is from the Air Operator Bridge. It really was the start of uh, a lot of pull-offs that I was to do for many years to come. And that one went like this. <laughs> What I was saying about the Dag Nasty song with the note up top ringing the whole time, um, I once discussed that with Tom DeLong and uh, how he kind of uh, liked to do the same thing. And in this song, uh, Hate to See You Go, I tried to do it once again, where I keep these three notes on top and then play different bass notes with the guitar. with the same thing on top. That's always going to be one of my favorite songs that, that I've written. My last favorite riff is a New Color Fred song that I put out in 2019 called Don't Give Up On Me. It's a riff that I had around for a long time, really hard to turn it into a song. Sometimes you have this golden riff, but how do you make it into a song? I had to wait for this one. It took a long time before the song came together, um, but I'm really happy with it. And if you haven't heard it, it goes like this. <laughs> So that's it for me. That's my life in riffs. I hope you guys enjoyed some of those. The hardest part was whittling it down to that many. There are so many amazing riffs out there. Leave me some riffs that are your favorites below that change your life. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And uh, please like the video. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>